In the daytime, I'm Marinette. Just a normal girl with a normal life. But there's something about me that no one knows yet. Because I have a secret. Miraculous! Tomorrow, Marinette. So, Nino, homework at my place tonight? Uh, uh, you sure we said tonight? Well, see, uh, I kind of promised Adrian I'd drop off the schoolwork he missed today, you know, because of his shoot. <laughs> no worries, guys. Listen, you go and do your homework together, and I'll write out the lessons and drop them off at Adrian's later on. You sure? Thanks, Marinette. That's terrible! You hear that, Chloe? Aurora's GPA dropped a whole point on our last report card. Well, you can't beat Little Miss Weather Girl and Little Miss Good Grades at the same time. We better not make her cry, Sabrina, or she might turn into stormy well, weather and start raining on us. What a ridiculous power. <laughs> Utterly ridiculous. Aurora won't be transforming because her grade average will be up again next term. Don't hesitate to ask if you need any help. Thanks, Marinette. Yeah, right. Once a villain, always a villain. Unlike you, Chloe, people do change for the better. Well, you will never change, Marinette Dupen Chang. You'll always be Adra Dumb. I mean, Adra Bummed. A bit, 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 lame. And you, Alia Cesare, you still haven't found out who Ladybug is, right? Well, you two are made for each other. You're both just as clueless as the other. Back to you now. <gasps> Huh, she's gone now because of you two, and I wasn't even halfway done trashing her. Come on, Sabrina. <laughs> Come on, let's do it. Chloe might not be completely wrong, you know, Tiki. I haven't changed. Look at how I always fail when I try to have a basic conversation with Adrian. As soon as I'm in front of him, my heart starts beating like crazy, and my words come tumbling out, making no sense whatsoever. It seems like I'm paralyzed. <laughs> hey. Hey. I, uh, I wanted to, um, gift you a make. I mean, gift you a give I made. I mean, out of the way. Uh, are beneath that strong disguise? Every day we see each other, and I hope that you'll be mine. Together, our love could be so true. Please, will you Please, be my will valentine? will you be my valentine? <laughs> it's so beautiful. But I'll never know what he thinks of me, or who this poem he wrote was meant for. Oh, I'm so... so lame. You are not, Marinette! You've changed a lot since the beginning of the year, and since you first met Adrian. You're right. I have changed. I got more and more clumsy since I met him. <laughs> no! Think of all the things you've done since the first day back at school. You went to the movies with Adrian? Yeah, how could I forget that? In my PJs wearing a towel. True, maybe that wasn't the best example. What about the time you practiced for the video game competition with him? Oh. Right here in your bedroom. Sorry. No, you go. Uh, I'll, I'll use, use the, the other, other one. one. Uh, uh, and when you fenced with him? Attack! Touch! Fuck! Continue. Thanks. All I did was lunch. You've got good reflexes. Adrian has become a true friend. You're right. You never got a chance to open it with all that was going on. Uh, I always carry the lucky charm you gave me wherever I go, and I think it works pretty well. You're so wonderful. Uh, uh, it's wonderful. Uh, what a charm. Uh, uh, the charm. I mean, uh, uh, we're the charm. With luck. Uh, but basically, um, thank you. Adrian's become a friend who I can talk to about anything. Except when it comes to my feelings for him. It's better than nothing, though, isn't it? Can you still be in love with someone even after they become your friend? Do you think I'll ever be able to tell him that he means much more to me than just a friend? <laughs> to the attention of Miss Tsurugi, things may not be going exactly the way we planned, but change can be a good thing. I'm confident it'll only strengthen our agreement in the end. It's true. Things aren't going as planned. For me, either. There's no point in waiting for your father, Adrian. I should never have taken this job. It's too much sometimes. Don't forget to practice your piano before you go to bed. As I watched Adrian growing up, my affection for him has grown too. I'm sure he'll understand, sir. <sighs> my dad's flaking, isn't he? Let me guess, something came up? Yes, but he has reserved the best seats in the house for you, Adrian. Front row. As usual, the best money can buy. 
The fencing hall is booked for 6.05 p.m. and the Chinese classroom for 6.35 p.m., just as you wished. And remember that you have to make an appearance at the Aggressed Foundation's Heroes Gala tonight. I'll be there, for sure. As I've watched Emily falling deeper into an endless sleep, my sadness for her has deepened too. And little by little, my admiration for Gabriel, a man who'd do anything for his family, has turned into something more. I never thought I would have feelings like this. I would do anything for Gabriel Agrest, no matter the cost. Are you ready, Natalie? They've been keeping you from achieving your dream for way too long. I will go to any length to end the reign of Ladybug and Cat Noir. Good. <coughs> Natalie, are you all right? <coughs> yes, thank you, sir. I feel a strong negative emotion. We'll finish this later. I have to tell you how amazing this photo shoot was, Dad. I'm sorry, Father. Uh, it was very interesting. You'll tell me all about it later, Adrian. I'm busy at the moment. In that case, can I go out and meet up with my friends? You'll see them at school tomorrow. This negative emotion I'm feeling, it's familiar. Maybe it's your son's emotion. You should spend more time with him. I'm doing all of this so that he can be happy again. But aren't you in danger of losing him if you continue down this path? Your father is very busy. Your miraculous was not intended to be used in this way, Master. I forbid you to talk to me like that, Nuru. Oh. <laughs> Nuru, dark wings rise! What if Nuru is right? Am I taking too many risks? You have to trust me! Always. Quit! Yeah. yeah! No! I no longer have a choice. I must succeed at any price. Fly away, my little Akuma, and evilize her. You can't be Little Miss Weather Girl and Little Miss Good Grades at the same time. Or she might turn into stormy weather and start raining on us. <laughs> Once a villain, always a villain. Stormy weather. People have told you that you'll never change. Well, they're right. People don't change, they grow. This time, your powers will be even stronger as you know them well. Show them how you're able to control all the forces of nature. All right, Hawk Moth. Uh, my father will never change. I like people who never change. That way you always know what to expect. Look at me. I love eating cheese. Why would I change that? I wouldn't be myself anymore if I did. Does this mean my life will never change? Of course not, don't worry. Think of everything that's happened since the end of last summer. You're finally going to school. And you know I still find it weird for a boy your age to love going to school so much when you could just stay at home. I was tired of being cooped up at home, never seeing anyone. All because of my father. I met a lot of friends at school. See, you've already started to change. But father still hasn't. You sure about that? He didn't punish you after you went to the movies with that girl all by yourself. True. We even watched Mother's movie together instead. And you played a duet on the piano with him, didn't you? And he allowed me to meet my friends afterwards. I love unicorns and And for once, his birthday gift to me was amazing. Hey, dude. <laughs> Yo, nice scarf, Adrian. Off the chain. Yeah, can you believe my dad got this for me? Oh. It's so awesome. He's given me the same lame pen for three years in a row. Wow, I guess anyone can change. Adults can be cool when you least expect it. Your father's like one of those wheels of cheese with a very thick rind. Once you manage to sink your teeth into it, you realize it's all soft inside. Or slightly rotten. Plague, you're really gross. But you're right. Thank you. Uh, uh. It's not me, I swear. I didn't use my cataclysm. Uh, what is that? Plague, look out! Volcano to move the earth away from the sun. Soon the world will plunge into a perpetual.
all winter, and Earthlings will be nothing but frozen food. Then you'll realize just how powerful I really am. Did she really do that? Probably. But don't worry, Kitty. We're not gonna let her rain on Paris this parade. Hey, was that a pun I heard, milady? Yep. A little change is good, don't you think? <laughs> I love that girl. Don't be amused, it's just the news. Astronauts in orbit around the Earth confirmed that our planet has shifted off its axis and is moving away from the sun. Stormy weather seems way stronger than the first time around. And it's that brat Chloe's fault again. If only things could go back to the way they were before, before Hawk Moth and all those villains. You mean before we met? No, of course not. I didn't mean it that way. It's weird to think of it, but if it weren't for Hawk Moth... You and I might not be here right now. Actually, it's thanks to Ladybug we're together. Oh, and you'll be safe. <laughs> True. And for becoming superheroes, too. Both of us. Rena Rouge and Carapace, I need you both. You're Rena Rouge? Of course I am. Trix, let's pounce. Awesome! Waze Shell On! I suspected you were Carapace from the very beginning. So there's nothing I can hide from you? You've always been a terrible liar. Flyweights, no need to worry. I'll protect you. Well, one thing's for sure, we aren't going anywhere. What is she doing? She needs to come and give me my miraculous right now. Aren't I the best superhero of them all? Yes, of course you are, Chloe. Nobody's nicer than me. So true, Chloe. Since no one is owning up, the whole school will be punished. Uh, what? I'm not so sure my father will react kindly to me being punished without any proof. Oh, no, please don't disturb the busy mayor. <clears throat> the whole school is punished, except for Miss Bourgeois. <laughs> Sabrina who? I don't know any Sabrina. But of course you do, Chloe. It's me. Your BFF. You should talk to her, mademoiselle. She's right here. Hmm? I don't see anyone. I just don't understand why she's not coming. Especially since she could have never defeated Despair Bear without you. Chloe, would you be so kind? Okay, Ladybug. Ladybug? What are you doing? Oh, nothing. Just saving your skin with the help of our new little sidekick. Then there were the times when you were the awesome Queen Bee. I've always dreamed of doing this with you. We must work together as a team, all right, Queen Bee? Venom! <laughs> Your turn, Ladybug. Oh. Pound it. You really are the best of the best, and Ladybug's such a lamey for being a no-show. Hey, stop it! Don't talk about Ladybug like that. Oh, so, Chloe Bourgeois, you still think my power is utterly ridiculous? Uh, this is just proof that I was right. Once a villain, always a villain. <laughs> You'll never defeat me! I'm a hurricane! Ouch, it's true, she really is a lot stronger than before. But we're also stronger than before. Hannah Wire and I have gotten to know one another better, and we've learned how to fight together. I still don't know where Zakuma's hidden. This might be a good time to use that lucky charm of yours, don't you think? I need all of us to make it work. I can't do anything with it now. Over to you, Cat Noir. We are Ladybug and Cat Noir. We've learned to trust. 
trust each other. Spots off. Claws in. And now we have new superpowers. Aqua Tiki Spots on! Yeah! Clag Glacier, claws out! been through a lot together. We're not gonna let stormy weather defeat us, right, kitty? As usual, I completely agree with you, bugaboo. <laughs> I'll send you both into orbit, Ladybug and Cat Noir! You can do it, Marinette! Yes? Uh, hello, I'm Marinette, and I'm in Adrian's class. I'm bringing him the schoolwork he missed today, and the homework that's due tomorrow. You tell him it's from Marinette, his friend, from school, and that I did it as a friend, to help him, okay? I will. Mm. Mm. See you tomorrow at school. Love, your friend, Marinette. Mm. Good job! We've got ourselves a new and improved Marinette! <laughs> She's really so amazing and classy. She's always been that way. She never changes. She's just so... ladybug. You mean like the time she stood you up after you invited her on a romantic date on a Paris rooftop? Or when she told you that she was in love with someone else? I don't want to play around with your feelings. It would be the same as lying to you. Oh. I don't want to do that. You're more than a partner, Cat Noir. You're my friend. And I'd never want to lie to a friend. But why do you think it'd be lying? Because there's this boy, I... Uh... There's a boy? Who is... It's... I can't tell you who it is. We can't know anything about each other. Our identities must remain a secret. We're both superheroes, Cat Noir. We don't have a choice. I get it, Ladybug. Your friendship means everything to me. You can keep the rose. It goes with your costume. Why don't you look for another girl to love? One who's actually available? The heart wants what the heart wants, Black. You can't just change your feelings just like that. Yes? Your friend from school, Marinette, just brought you these lessons you missed today. She copied them out for you by hand. She wanted me to tell you she did it for you as a friend. To help you. Thank you, Natalie. See you tomorrow at school. Love your friend, Marinette. I'd never noticed Marinette's writing. Remember this unsigned card I got on Valentine's Day? 
Whoa, hold up. Someone answered my poem, but I threw it away. Your hair shines like the sun. Your eyes are gorgeous green. I look at you and wonder your innermost thoughts and dreams. Yes, your Valentine, I will be. Our love will be so true. Together for eternity, my heart belongs to you. <gasps> Ugh, well, anyone who writes as sickeningly sweet as you must be your soulmate. Of course it couldn't have been from Ladybug. It had to have been from someone at school. Like Marinette? Yeah. Hopefully he didn't see me. <laughs> hey, Marinette. How's it going? After what happened at your place last night, I was worried that... Oh, so you watched the show then? <laughs> well, uh... Look, about what you saw on the show, the photographs in my room. You mean the photographs? Uh, the grotographs, exactly! It, it's not what you think. See, I'm really into fashion and... Mm... Are you lying? No, I'm so not into you. I mean, sure, I'm interested in you, but um, not in that way. Well, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Just teasing. I understand, don't worry. <laughs> No, Marinette couldn't possibly be in love with me. She's just a friend who loves fashion. Besides, there's Luca. It's just someone with similar writing, that's all. <laughs>